Hi friends and welcome back to the room. Oh, the wall, the wall is still here. Um, it's a good backdrop. Uh, we're gonna announce the winner. I figured I'd do it facing, I can't even see what these are, the close-up glasses. I figured I'd do it facing the camera and uh, we'll announce the winner now. Don't fear if you didn't win. Another uh, giveaway will be taking place within two minutes. Uh, we have plenty of stuff to give away. Good time to be in the holiday spirit as I got plenty of stuff here to give back to the community. Anyway, the winner of the gallery, right? GHAD, the 68, the pistol grip. You know what my head, the pistol grip I use in many videos. The company who is making my personally branded airbrush. Great airbrush, I use it every day. Is, the name is Azzy, or A-Z, A-Z-Z-Y, or the uh, handle on your YouTube is ADA 42 KLM all right you are the winner now I sent you a uh, comment a follow-up to your comment I replied to you and I said to get to me uh, with the email and uh, I'm still waiting to hear back but if you do watch many of my videos you're seeing your name now uh, email is in the uh, description below the video so uh, there you go buddy uh, this is yours and bottle of blue black prism from Gaia will also be thrown in the box for you and uh, terrific terrific paint that it is look at this I finished off the shield I uh, showed this off on my patreon channel later in the week look at that you know that's uh mr. hobby gold and of course the prism blue black we'll show that on the bench too under better lighting and uh, now for the next giveaway, we have more of these, but we're gonna shift over. I'll hold up your name again at the end, just in case you missed. We have another gallery. Now this was given to me from a subscriber, so I don't know if he wants his name given out, but he had an extra and um, wasn't able to return it. So he says, would you like it to give away to uh, one of your viewers? So we are, this is the ace. This is their current top of the line, huh? Until mine comes out. Uh, this is the Ace. This is the 98, yep, the 98D has two needles in it also, right? A .38 and a .5. Beautiful airbrush. Great airbrush. So this is another, the next giveaway. To win it, like the video, please subscribe, comment below. I'll use a random comment picker like I do to pick these and it just randomly picks a comment out. That's why I need to leave a comment. And uh, this will be yours. All right, that's the next giveaway. I'll announce it again at the end of the video. And uh, I'll even come in the uh, official gallery box. Look at that. So that's the next giveaway. That's why I said don't fear if you didn't win. Everybody's going to have a chance to uh, win something. Yeah, we're in the giving mood. And um, that's it. Now I want to show you one uh, kit here that's on the ground that doesn't make it to the background here. Check this out. This is a resin kit. And I was just quite taken by the design, you know. And uh, this is Yolo, Yojolan. Yep, Yojolan. There's the, there's the company. And look, the front, the back of the package shows the back of the, the mobile suit. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I don't even know what, I need a certain uh, kit to finish this. I don't know what the, you have to start with a, uh, uh, a Gundam kit for the frame. But boy, I, this is isn't that awesome? That is awesome. That just came in recently. It's a Strike GNX work. Anyway, there you go. That's below. So I wanted to show you that. I was really happy when that showed up. All right, now we're going to flip the camera back to the bench. Get on with the test with these two chrome type of paints. And um, yeah, it should be a great test. Let me flip the camera back. I'm going to hit the camera right here to pause it. And I'll see you on the other side of the camera. All right, here we are, flipped it over, facing the bench now, and you can get a better shot at the shield with the uh, prism blue, black, and some gold. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I did it this because they seem to show the gold and the blue. Happens to be a great combination anyway, and uh, so I just went ahead and shot the frame uh, with the gold and uh, the star cross there and just snapped it all in. Anyway, today we're going to be testing these two chrome paints. Now, I've had bad luck with all these, but um, 
someone told me, and I don't know who it was, and I think I was researching how to do some hydro dipping, and um, I went off on a little bit onto this one, this Rust-Oleum Metallic. Now, they all say metallic. They never look like this. I mean, I would give anything if it looked close like this. And um, I saw the guy spraying it, and I thought it looked good. So I said, you know what, I've never tried this one, but God knows I've tried them all, so I have given up at that point. So when I went to go buy this, I saw the color shot. Now, you can get these at Walmart, so now they sell these at Michael's uh, Craft Store also. This is called Heads or Tails, shiny metallic. And usually with this brand, the can, I've tested these before, they're actually pretty good paints. Um, the label tells you what the color is, so I'm guessing this was supposed to be a chrome. I mean, none of them are chrome. It, none of them. But like I said, even if I can get close to something like this, it has no you know, metal flake look to it, like a, a polished metal. I'd be happy. So I grabbed that too for the test. Now, we're going to spray a few spoons to see the results. And then we're going to uh, let them dry and see if they can handle some candy colors on top. So I just pulled some of these off the shelf and um, we'll see if they'll handle a candy coating. Um, fingers crossed, I am hoping that is the case. Now I also, I'm going to test it on these two Gumpla pieces. I've seen it sprayed over just white, so this is really opaque. It doesn't need the black background like, you know, the all clads and those type of things do. So I took this off the same runner. It's a dark brown. I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. So make sure it takes the paint. Well, who knows how it's going to take it. But we also went ahead with decanting it. So I decanted some of this. So I figured we'll spray the Gundam piece through the airbrush. And I decanted the Rust-Oleum Metallic. There we go. Look at that. I've been letting it gas out for a while before I started the video. So look, there's was all bubbles in it earlier. Now it's completely gassed out. It looks perfect. So we'll be good to go with that. So that's going to be the test. So we're going to spray the spoons through the can. Then we're going to spray these through the airbrush. And then we're going to try the candy colors on top. You see those in the background. Not these. These are Mr. Color Lascivious. I've been uh, going through my colors and I want to test these. And I'm making sure I have everyone in the lineup. It's Lascivious, but it's Aura. See the Aura name? They're like a, a really bright pastel. Look at that. So I'm really interested in this line. So I pulled these out because I want to start testing these. Put the cap on tight. That's why you see those off to the side. So we've got to go like this. There we go. This is the part we're testing. All right. And uh, we're going to use the uh, gallery airbrush that I just gave one away. So this will be used during the test. And uh, that's it. We'll head over to my Pace spray booth. And, uh, yeah, let's start spraying. We'll pick one of these out. you got to shake them well. I'll shake it off camera. This one's really thick, man, because you can tell when you can't hear the ball bearing shaking. But this one, you can kind of hear. So this one must be thinner. And this is straight out of the can. And it looks a little thicker than the silver. Yep, definitely. So uh, maybe it needs to be that thick to uh, get the effect. Now with the spoons, I went ahead and sanded them with my little sandy sponges. They, I get these at the auto parts store. And uh, instead of cleaning the spoons, I just go ahead and rough sand them. Yeah, really smooth, actually, I'm saying. But I go over them quickly with these sanding sponges. You get those at the auto store. They're indispensable, man. I love those things. And um, don't really kick up a lot of dust. I just rough up the surface quickly. See, it took the dullness away of the spoon. So that's it. Let's head over to the booth. We'll grab one of these cans. We'll hit a spoon and then uh, we'll see how it looks. I am uh, I'm curious. Let's go do it. All right, my friends, here we are at the booth. Let's go ahead and start with the color shot. I guess you can call it chrome, but it's called heads or tails here. So let's hit a couple of spoons, then we'll get the gold and then we'll airbrush both and see what we get. I put my glove on because when I decanted it, I made kind of a mess. And uh, trying to keep the fingers clean here for the video. Here we go. Oh, comes out heavy. Oh, it looks pretty good. Not, you know what? Not bad. Wow. Let's get another one. I'm going to go further back here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, good. A foot away is pretty good. Wow, not too bad. You know, I didn't expect chrome, but boy, it's it's not bad. All right, let me uh, uh, pause the camera, 
Let me grab the gold. We'll stop that. All right, here we are with the gold. It doesn't even say gold on it anywhere. I'm trying to see. It just the cap says the color. I'm trying to look for the name, but it it just doesn't say it. It just says you just look at the cap, I guess. I don't know. I'm looking for a name. I'm not gonna get it. All right, let's try the same thing a little further out. Oh wow, this. You know, this isn't bad either. Holy cow, not bad at all. Let's grab another one here. Yeah, it's pretty opaque, but you know what? It doesn't have a metal flake look, is which is what I'm kind of glad I don't see. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Um, yeah, because I'll show you over black how it doesn't really, uh, it, it, there's no difference. Yeah, it's really identical. Anyway, that's it. Let me, uh, cap this. I'll go grab the, uh, ones that are decanted in the cup and we'll try it through the airbrush. All right, my friends, here we are with the color shot. I decanted it and threw it into the cup. You can see it right there. Oh, there it goes. Let's see how it airbrushes. I'm uh, blowing some dust off this piece. You know, it atomizes pretty good out of the airbrush. I don't expect a nice chrome, but... Here we go. Not bad. Let's try it over a primered spoon. This is gray primer. It might dull it up, I don't know. Sometimes the primer will absorb it. You know, I'm not getting a chrome look, but you know what? It airbrushes really well. It does airbrush pretty good. Wow, not bad. All right. All right, let me clean this out. I'll grab the gold, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are, the decanted gold. I figured I'd show you I pour it right in. There we go. All right. Here we go with the uh, Gumpla piece. Get some dust off it, if there is any. There we go, quick layer. You know what, it went on pretty good. Let's try it over the primered spoon. I think with these I would go with a uh, A shiny primer because it seems to absorb it. See so, yeah. it? Let's try it over the spoon, see if we get the shine. Yeah, totally different. Looks great. You know, it's not gold chrome, but it is way better than I thought it was going to be. Let's finish off the Gumpla piece. that dry all right let's go over and uh, I'll grab a couple that have been dried and we're gonna try some candy on top and we'll see how the candies look all right I got a spoon gold that dr has dried for quite some time to make sure it can handle this on top we're gonna go with a lacquer here with uh, mr. clear color GX these are great clears we'll go with the green over gold
I'm going to build up some layers here. Many of these won't show for quite a few layers. Now I'm starting to get the tone here of green right now. As you can start to see it now coming in. It looks like there's no effect, so it is taking the clear, the lacquer on top, which is pretty cool. There we go, now we're getting it. I'll do a little dry, quick flashing off. Right now I'm hitting it with some air. That's why I show there's no paint coming out. This airbrush is really quiet as far as letting air out. All right. These lacquers flash really quick. Flash means dry. So it does, it does take the the top coat no problem. We can make this thing as dark as we want. I think green goes really well over gold. It has a great look to it. Your compressor is kicking in. Well, that's good. I just wanted to see if it can handle the candy colors. It can. There we go. Let's let this dry. I'll bring it up back to the bench. We'll spray the silver with another color. All right. For the final test, uh, Mr. Mr. Tamiya Clear Blue X23. Here it is. Over. Silver. Let's see if the cold shot, the color shot, can handle a candy on top. Oh man, it's already it's already coming in on a nice blue tone there already. Look at that. Well, I guess you could stop right there and get a great color. It looks like it can handle it. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's bubbling up a little bit. Let's let it dry in between coats here. I'm going to flash this off. The silver doesn't seem to like the Tamiya. Yep, it's bubbling up and reacting a little bit. I'll show you at the bench what's happening here. But beautiful though, isn't it? Wow, not bad. Anyway, we will uh, go over everything at the bench. Let me clean out the brush and we'll wrap this up. All right, my friends, back at the bench. Here are the results straight out of the spray can. Very good. You know, I I'm impressed. Um, I mean, it's not the greatest. It's not a chrome gold. It doesn't reflect the cover. None of these do. Um, but I can tell you, this this is pretty good um, out of a spray can. And this is really, I mean, I know I wasn't going to get chrome, but it still is a nice effect, this color shot, sprayed out of, straight out of the spray can. Um, pretty impressive. So uh, I have, what's this, six bucks for this can? You decant it, you probably go a long way. Um, even then, you don't have to. It is go a long way with what's in there. And I think this was seven bucks. So straight out of the spray can, thumbs up. A very good paint. And I wanted to see how they airbrushed. So here it is, airbrushed. I decanted it. Not quite as reflective. Can you see it? It probably needs to go on heavy to get that effect. I guess if I went closer and loaded it up, but the whole purpose of the airbrush is to put it on lighter, but you can see it. But, you know, still a nice, smooth, even paint, um, a semi-gloss shine to it, not bad. This is airbrushed on the Gumpla piece. Again, pretty impressive. 
let's look at this one airbrushed now this was on top of primer so it's rough looking this is what I did off camera I have a spoon that was really messed up so uh, I sprayed it airbrushed on the spoon without primer and it's pretty close to the spray can yeah so I, I knew the primer would dull it up a bit but it still came out great and now for the candy to see if it could handle candy this is the gold and I airbrushed this Mr. Color GX 104 green. Wait, is it just green? Clear green, yep. And that's over the gold. How beautiful is that? Smooth. It didn't bubble up. It liked it. It accepted it. And off camera, Jump Wind, clear red. That's over gold. Check that out. That is beautiful. So it can handle the clear colors. No problem. These are both lacquers. All right. Now, the color shot couldn't handle the Tamiya. How beautiful is that? But look at the speckles. See it? It, it beat it up. For some reason, it didn't like it. And I'm guessing it's the paint because this is the Jump Wind Clear Orange over the silver and it's perfect so it liked <laughs> it like this it didn't like Tamiya whatever is in it it did not like maybe the alcohol Tamiya is an alcohol based solvent acrylic but look at the uh, clear orange on top of the silver how great is that so if you think about it across the board it took the uh, jump wind clears now I haven't done a test on these because I have one plan I've been working behind the scenes this is why I actually reached for them I was actually working with them I'm gonna test every color in the jump wind clear lineup I sprayed over a couple of different bases but early tests behind the scenes were great but this really shows how great these jump wind clears are I mean look at this look at that so I would go if you're gonna go clear on these uh, clear color candy don't use Tamiya Use the jump winds. Or, hey, Mr. Clear, Mr. Color GX. Look at that. So, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, I like them. I'm not a big fan of these industrial hardware store paints. Um, good ones are hard to come by. There's a couple of that have really shown the, some good colors and came through well. well. Uh, these are two of them, particularly straight out of the spray can. I mean, that is, that is well. And it's going to spray great on top of... You know metal what it's made for but uh, if you need to do a, a big job and you don't want to airbrush forever and there's a lot of big pieces um, you, you, you can do no wrong I guess here particularly at the price but uh, if that's the color you're looking for anyway that is the test all right let me flip the camera back this way and we'll wrap this up with the uh, giveaway announcement all right, my friends, that was the test, but now we're going to go back over the winner again. It is Azzy, or AZ, A-D-A, 42, KLM. That's why I put it all here, so if you see your name, you have won. Contact me with the email, which is below the description. You won the gallery airbrush and the bottle of Prism Blue Black Paint from Gaia. Now, as I said, that isn't the end of the giveaways. We have a lot more. Look. We got another one of these to give away. <laughs> so we got plenty to go around. And uh, big giveaways towards Christmas time, too. Um, as I said, a subscriber to my channel had an extra one of these. He thought I could do good by giving it away. And uh, that's what we're doing. Um, if you want your name given out, you let me know. I didn't know if you wanted to, so I didn't mention your name. This is the A series. This is their current top of the line. And uh, all you have to do to win this airbrush, again, is uh, please be a subscriber so you know when the winner is announced. Uh, look at my glasses on. And um, leave a comment below because I need to know uh, who you are through the comments. That's how we pick the winner. And um, uh, like the video. It's important too for the algorithm of uh, YouTube. It helps the channel quite a bit. And uh, please subscribe. We're looking for new subscribers. We're trying to get our numbers up. We're trying to get to the dream of 100,000 subs. And uh, we try to put out a lot of content to a week. We try to do two videos a week. We'll always at least have one video a week. We will keep you guys busy with all these tests. Um, behind that wall is all kinds of paints. I got those jump wind clears I'm testing. I got, sorry guys, I'm going to lead into the camera. I got these uh, colors, these beautiful pastels from uh, 
this is the color I'll be testing soon. Uh, it's endless. I got stuff. I'm working on these pearls from uh, SMS. I'm going to do a full pearl test. They have like 30 colors in the line, so I'm spraying behind the scenes mad like that, too. So anyway, please, please subscribe. And if you would be so kind as to like this video. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. And um, one more thing, if you want to consider joining my Patreon, I'll put that link below, too. That's where I can text back and forth. We can answer uh, your questions uh, any time of the day, I check your, your, your questions and I'll answer you directly. And uh, if it requires a video, like you want to see, you know, what uh, this looks like on top of uh, this color, I'll do that on camera and I'll post that video uh, personally for you on Patreon. That's what the Patreon is for. It's only four bucks a month. But uh, all that goes into buying these supplies for the channel. I have a lot of new stuff coming in, guys. If you stuck with the video this long, Zerk paints, all kinds of stuff coming. I got a big order of Zerk paints coming in. And, uh, I tested a few Zerks and I liked them, so uh, I bought a little bit of all of their lineup so we can test uh, across the board the Zerk paints. And they're kind of easy to get now here in America. I got a good source. And uh, we'll go over that too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, that's it. Don't forget, if you want to win this airbrush, like the video and leave a comment below. You got to leave a comment. That's the only way you can win. And uh, we will see you in the next video.